praise the lord brothers and sisters stay home stay safe this is the slogan of the day this slogan is used for fighting against the covid-19 pandemic or the novel corona virus because the virus is deadly this safety is a must for our body and our life on this earth we as a spiritual people have another body to save god that is the body of christ we are the members of the body of christ preserving this body of christ which is the church is more important that means we should not lose our spiritual life at any cost we staying safe by staying home and engaging in things that will harm our spiritual life like sitting before the tv and internet of course you know yourself more than me okay. therefore i am not mentioning anything here doing anything that is harmful to the spiritual life is dangerous there is a possibility of the serpent that is the devil to come and bite us he will bite us if we give room for him and cause damage to our soul or our spiritual life matthew chapter 10 verse 28 says fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell body is temporal but soul is eternal this tells us that our soul is more important than body therefore be aware of the serpent and stay in hedge stay safe yeah. stay in hedge stay safe this will preserve our soul and our spiritual life saint paul had a fear about the corinthian church and he says in second corinthian chapter 11 verse 3 I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ In the same way due to the prevailing situation I also fear about the upkeeping of everyone's spiritual and or spiritual life in this hour of crisis So with that burden let me tell you all stay within the hedges of the Lord so that the devil may not deceive you and take you away from the lord during this testing time so today's bible study will be on the topic the hedges of the lord the wisest man ever lived in the world solomon says in ecclesiastes chapter 10 was a he that digger the pit shall fall into it and whoso breaketh an hedge a serpent shall bite him whosoever breaketh the hedge the serpent shall bite him from that we understand that there is a spiritual fences around us there yep. are spiritual fences around us and if anyone breaks it the serpent or the devil shall bite him or deceive him we know how the lord has put a fence around job and all that he had and preserved him devil went there also now let us see the need for the fence god wants to put the hedge or fence around us so that ye we may be preserved job chapter 1 verse 10 B, that he may multiply us again job chapter 1 verse 10 c to give good fruit isaiah chapter 5 verse 5 d to give fruit in the right season matthew chapter 21 verse 33 and 41 e we may be testimony to the lord job chapter 1 verse 8 now let us see about the removing or breaking the head coming to removing of the head only two people can break or remove the head one is god otherwise we us we ourselves first of all god permits when challenged by the devil that we see in job chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 satan answered the lord and said does job fear god for not has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land Secondly we ourselves will break them through the deceitfulness of the devil now let us see about some hedges that god has given us and the ways in which we may break them also hedges of the lord the lord has put seven kinds of hedges around us and preserving us from the onslaught of the devil one god himself is our hedge psalm 125 verse 2 As the mountains are round about Jerusalem so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever The Lord is round about his people from henceforth ever even forever Secondly the servants of God is a hedge 
Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6 I have set watchmen upon thy walls O Jerusalem which shall never hold their peace day nor night he that make mention of the Lord keep not silence That is God has set the servants of God as a watchman who watch for our souls as we read in Hebrew chapter 13 verse 17 Thirdly prayer is our hedge First Timothy you chapter 2 verse 1 and 2 I exhort therefore that first of all supplications prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty that you may lead a quiet and peaceable life by helping us to lead a quiet and peaceable life the prayer will become like a hedge for us fourth hedge laws or covenants yeah. If you read Hosea chapter 8 as and verse 1 said the trumpet to thy mouth he shall come as an eagle against the house of the lord because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law again psalms 19 verse 7 to 11 the law of the lord is perfect converting the soul the testimony of the lord is sure making wise the simple the statutes of the lord are right rejoicing the heart the commandment of the lord is pure enlightening the eyes The fear of the Lord is clean enduring forever the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether more to be desired are they than gold yea than much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb moreover by them is thy servant warned and in keeping of them there is great reward what we imply from these two verses is that laws and covenants are given as a protection for us fifth hedge grace of god psalm 32 Verse 10 Many sorrows shall be to the wicked but he that trusted in the Lord mercy shall compass him about Mercy shall compass him about Mercy or the grace of God will compass as a hedge for the people who put their trust in him and preserve them at all times of need Sixth hedge fellowship of brethren Psalm 133 verse 1 and 3 Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity as the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion for there the Lord commanded the blessing even life forevermore The Lord commanded the blessing even life forevermore This blessing will save God as forever as a hedge the seventh hedge steps of salvation Isaiah chapter 26 verse 1 In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah we have a strong city salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks various experiences we receive through the steps of salvation will form as a wall or a hedge to protect us they are forgiveness of sins water baptism divine healing holy spirit life of separation life of faith and finally victorious life if we remain in these seven hedges then the lord can protect us and preserve us therefore let us remain in the hedge which the lord has put around us breaking the hedge now let us see how we will break the hedge ourselves remember even if we break one hedge that will make the devil to come inside and bite us one lord himself is our hedge Though the Lord is round about his people as a fence, if we do anything that make God to leave us, as in the following cases, we are breaking the hedge ourselves. Yea, God mm-hmm. left Saul because of his disobedience. First Samuel chapter 15 verse 22. B. God left Samson when he broke the consecration. Judges chapter 16 verse 19 and 20. C. God left Israel because of their offenses. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. Secondly, servants of God. Yes, God has set the servants of God as watchmen for our souls. If you lose the fellowship of the servants of God by doing any of the following things, then we are breaking the above hedge. What are they? A. Believing the first love. Revelation chapter 2 verse 4 and 5. B. Disobedience. C. submission hebrew chapter 13 verse 17 d in union with them second corinthian chapter 3 verse 3 third is prayer prayer is like a hedge for us but if we lose the prayer life 
or give room for the following things which will reduce our prayer life. It will lead to the hedge being removed. A. Losing the fear of God. Job chapter 15 verse 4. B. Wickedness. Job chapter 21 verse 15 and 7. C. When his wrath is against us. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 8 and 1. D. Grief. Luke chapter 22 verse 45. E. Lack of faith and fainting. Luke 18 verse 1 and 8. F. No fellowship with saints. Acts chapter 2 verse 42. G. Losing the anointing. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. The fourth is the law or covenants. Laws and covenants are given as a protection for us. But if we do the following things, it will break the hedge. A. Refusing to accept the law. Psalm 78 verse 10. B. Casting away the law. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 24. C. Not willing to hear the law. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 9. D. Rejecting the law. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 19. Forsaking the law. Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 13. F. Rejecting the commandment. Mark chapter 7 verse 9. Fifth, the grace of God. If you lose the grace and begin to do these things, then the head will be removed. A. Following lying vanities. Jonah chapter 2 verse 8. B. Not crucified with Christ. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 and 21. C. Becoming offense to others. Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1 and 3. D. Not laboring for him. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10. E. Root of bitterness. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 15. Then sixth fellowship of brethren. If by any me, any of the following means we lose the fellowship of brethren, then we are breaking the bow hedge. A. Not willing to cooperate. Galatians chapter 2 verse 9. B. Strife. Vainglory. No loneliness of mind. Not esteeming others better than ourselves. Philippians chapter 2 verse 1 to 3. Then C. Living in darkness. Walk not in the truth and not in light. 1 John chapter 1 verse 6 and 7. D. Not spiritual. Remaining as babes and carnal. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 1 to 3. The seventh step of salvation. If we lose the experience of forgiveness of sin, water baptism, divine healing, Holy Spirit, of separation, life of faith and victorious life, then we will be breaking this hedge ourselves. The garden that is the church is hedged as we see in Song of Solomon chapter 4 verse 12. A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed. If we remain inside and preserve the above experiences, we are safe. If we break the hedge, the serpent shall bite us. That is, we will be deceived by the devil and we will lose the presence of God or else we will go far away from God. But God wants that we will be preserved well and be presented faultless before him with the exceeding joy. Jude verse 24. Therefore, let us be preserved inside the hedge okay. and be blessed and Jinkar prepare Kuhu. ourselves for the soon coming of the Lord. Stay in hedge, stay safe. May God bless you all. Oh.